Welcome back entrepreneurs and professional people. Today is part two on our journey to create a completely digital online habit tracker for free only using Google tools. Um, I'm really excited to jump into this aspect of it because the first episode we just figured out the front end and this episode we're gonna go more into the back end. So let's get started. I am the founder of Social Gravity and you have found my YouTube channel. That's awesome. If you haven't yet, I'd ask you to hit the subscribe button, uh, you know, hit the notification bell if you want to and like this video. Basically, if you didn't watch the first episode of this video, you probably want to. It's definitely a prerequisite to this one. You can find it right here. Just click that, go watch it and then come back over and we're going to get right into this. Like I said, it was all front end before, now we're all back end. So we're gonna jump right into the computer once more. Here it is. Okay, so um, this is my screen. Uh, as you can see, I am on it. Here we are, and um, I have my habit tracker open, which we built in the last episode, tied to my Google Sheet that we also connected in the last episode. And we have all this data. More so today, I want to just organize our data, organize our numbers. Um, so when we look at things, we know how we're doing on a weekly basis. Just really, you know, clean up the whole habit tracker, make it more of an application. So at the very top here, we have our running totals of each habit. So, you know, journal, it looks like this person's done the journal nine times out of um, what, 11 days. So they're doing pretty good. They've only missed a couple days. So what we wanna know, aside from how many times you've done the journal is actually independently for those days, how well you did. Because the way I look at it, if I have 10 habits and I do 10 habits out of 10 in one day, that is a perfect day. I nailed it. I committed to a perfect day and I did it. And I wanna be, uh, I want that to be represented in my habit tracker and I wanna make a big deal out of it, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is uh, collect the percentages of our days. So first we're just going to gather the sum of the day's habits. Very easy. We're going to click on, um, I'm gonna leave this one blank, click on this one, uh, hit this function button up at the top, click sum, and then I'm literally just gonna drag and highlight the first row of all the habits that I did. And it comes back to uh, what we did in the first episode, we made every habit instead of saying yes, we did a number one. And this is why, because they'll add up. And so I can, you can see I did three habits um, in that day and I can just drag this down. I'm just gonna drag it down to 20. Um, just so we have 20 days pre-mapped out, I will actually have to manually go back every few weeks and drag it down a little more. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna label this as well to have it's done. And boom, so we have that calm. The next thing we want to do is create our percentages. So that, that was a whole point of, of creating this. We need to first add it up and then we can create our percentages. So basically we have one, two, three, four habits. Um, so we have a, an entire new column here that will be percentage done. If we have a lot of habits, it's nice to see the difference of like how many habits you did versus the percentage of your success that day. So with percentage done, it's going to also be a sum function. So we're gonna hit function, sum, and we will go and click this number here, the habit done number, and then we will actually divide it by the amount of habits that we have. So we have four habits. So we are going sum, uh, parentheses, F3, which is this cell, divided by four habits equals, and it's gonna give us a percentage, just like that. If it doesn't spit out a percentage and if it spits out a decimal, you can literally just hit this percentage button right here and it will format it as a percent. Sometimes it doesn't give you the percent right away. You gotta tell Sheets that's what you want. So on that day, 75% of the habits were done and that's pretty dang good. So we're gonna slide this down and fill out all of the days and you can see we already have a few hundreds. That's pretty awesome. What we're gonna do now is create a perfect day 
tracker. Now this is literally just gonna say yes or no if you had a perfect day. And this is when it gets kind of cool for using sheets. Uh, and we're gonna use something new, not a sum function, we're gonna use an if function. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna jump into this E column that we left open. And we're gonna, we're gonna say it like this, okay? We're gonna say, and let's hope I get it right the first time, equals if parentheses. Okay, so if um, G or G5 or whatever this is, let's say G, G3, okay, G3. If G3, this column, the percentage column, equals 100%, then, and then, is represented by a comma. So what we have so far is if G3 equals 100% comma, which is then, um, then we print a yes, okay? So that's basically what we've told Sheets so far. Basic code, if G3 equals 100%, then print the word yes. We can represent the, the function of else by another comma, and quotations no and then we will close the parentheses and what we'll see is the word no now why do we see the word no well we only got 75 percent that day so you didn't get 100 percent. so no it's not a perfect day but if i drag it down you'll see a few here boom 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 that works pretty well and we will just name this column perfect day question mark and that's it. So we're almost getting there. Um, things are looking pretty cool so far. They're definitely a little more interactive, but what I need personally, and I think this is the most important thing, um, it's not a graph, but I need a running total average. If I don't have a running total average, then uh, I just won't really know how well I am doing, right? So I'm just gonna pick a cell just out here and um, all I'm gonna type is a completely new function that we haven't touched yet. It's called the average function. So equals, average and then open parentheses and we're literally just going to click the g column and then close it there we go um it's not a percentage it's a decimal like i said uh, it's going to either spit back its percentage or a decimal depending um and i'll convert it there to a percentage and oddly enough we have 50 percent 50 percent of the time this person did their hats looking pretty good so far so now we have a running total average so let's go like call this the total average well i don't know why it's white that's weird total average and then we can make it way bigger too oh yeah 50 percent give it a green background make it white oh dude looking dope the last thing we want to do is create a graph. The thing with graphs is that like, they're always kind of janky, at least in my experience. Um, I'm still learning how to use graphs. I knew to use graphs in Excel, like back in college and stuff, but um, the graphs are always kind of weird. So we're just going to make a general graph for our day-to-day -day tracking and uh, see our percentages, just see them go up and down and whatnot. The only thing with graphs is that they'll only accept the amount of data that you have or else, you know, I would run these way longer, uh, but they just break if you put empty, empty spaces in it. So that's the only thing that I find annoying about the graphs is that you kind of have to go back and edit them a lot, uh, but they really help visually. So we're going to insert a chart, uh, a graph essentially right here up at the top. I'm going to fit it in right here. And what we're going to do is literally just use this to measure the percentages and see if we can find any patterns. Because in my habit tracker, I actually found that Mondays I perform the best and I wouldn't have known that unless I had my, my chart or my graph active. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'll add a series here just by clicking that. And then I'm just going to highlight um, all the days that I have done so far. I'm going to hit, hit OK. And you can see it was that easy. Um, I don't want to go into the zero percents because then it'll show me zero percent here. We're just not there yet. When I need to change that, I can just click here and I can just adjust this even further, you see, but I don't want those columns yet. So this is looking pretty cool. And you know what? I can even go in and edit the type it is so I can use, um, different like lines or, 
you know, I, I just like the combo chart. I think the combo chart is really clean. And then if I go up to customize and I go to chart axis and titles, I can name the title and I'll call this day to day percentage and it'll just pop up there just so I remember what it is later. And dude, look at that. Our habit tracker looks fire. It's like, it's telling me my total average. It's telling me the days that I got perfect. It's literally showing me which days I'm doing better on. Um, awesome start. And I definitely advise you take these tactics and you plug them in on your own and really build this thing out and customize it. But this, this is a perfect primer for you to have a dope habit tracker for free. And I've used a lot of habit tracking apps on my phone and I just never found that they really did exactly what I wanted it to do because I feel like everyone's a little different. So hopefully this sets you up for success. Again, my name is Vic. If you got any value from this little tiny two-part mini series, then definitely subscribe to the channel. You know, my mission in business and in life is to create freedom for entrepreneurs and professional people. And that's why I'm here doing this thing on YouTube. So definitely subscribe to the channel if that sounds like something you're interested in. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.